Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to plot the output curve for a high pass filter. As we can see in this picture, a high pass filter is a circuit which passes all the frequencies greater than the cutoff frequency. In the circuit, we have a capacitor which is in series with the input voltage and a resistor parallel to it. And the output voltage is measured across this resistor. The cutoff frequency is 1 by 2 pi RC and this cutoff frequency is nothing but the frequency at which the output voltage V out becomes 70.7% of the input voltage. In terms of dB, the output voltage is something which is minus 3 dB below the input voltage. Or we can say that if input voltage is taken at 0 dB, the output voltage at cutoff frequency will be minus 3 dB. So, this is what the uh, graph is, uh, looks like. If we take the frequency at x axis and output voltage at y axis, then the minus 3 dB point which corresponds to the V out, if we drop it down on the frequency, this will be known as the cutoff frequency. So, let us assume that we are going to plot a circuit in which the resistor is 2 kilo ohms, capacitor is 1 microfarad. Then according to this formula, the cutoff frequency should be 79.16 hertz. But we are going to plot this in LTSPY software and check whether we are getting the same results or not. So let us come to our software LTSPYs. To start with, first of all, we will take a voltage source. So from your keyboard, you can press V and a voltage source will come. We will place it here and press escape to get rid of it. Next, we need capacitor. So we will press C from our keyboard and we will try to rotate it using this. So uh, first of all, we will try to rotate it. And we will come back to our circuit. And we will place the capacitor here. The next we need is resistor. So we will press R and place the resistor here. At last we need ground. So we will press V from our keyboard and a ground will come and we will place it here. At last we will connect it with the wire. So you can see this pencil here. This is a wire. So with simple left click we will connect all these devices together. And we will connect the resistor with ground like this. Now the schematic is ready. We will provide the inputs. So right click on this voltage source. And since we are going to do AC analysis, go to advanced. Here just write AC amplitude as 1. Don't make any other changes and click on OK. So we can say that we are providing and we, do, we are doing the AC analysis with 1 volts as the amplitude. Similarly, right click on capacitor and as per the picture which I showed in the starting of the video, we are going to take the capacitance of 1 microfarad. So press 1 and U and click on OK. U means micro. Similarly, right click on resistor and here we will take 2K resistance and OK. Our schematic and values are ready but before running the simulations, we have to edit the simulation command. So if you click on run, this window should pop up to edit the simulation command. We will go to AC analysis. Take the type of sweep as decade. Number of points you can choose any. I am taking it as 20. You can do any exercise for your learning. Start frequency is taken as 1. And let's take stop frequency as uh, 10, uh, 20k. And click on OK. Now for viewing it properly, we are going to plot it uh, tile the window vertically. As told earlier, the output voltage will be taken across this resistor. So this red pen means we are going to plot the voltage. So press here. Now you see that we are having two different graphs. This dotted line means we this is the phase, but we don't want to plot the phase. We simply want to plot the magnitude. So right click here and Click on don't plot phase to get rid of the confusion. So this is what we are getting for a high pass filter. 
but since we know that the output voltage should be minus 3 dB, but here in the scales we are having it in the multiples of 4. So right click here and make the tick as 3. And bottom, uh, let us take it as 42 because 42 is a multiple of 3 and click on OK. So now we have a clear picture of what this high pass filter looks like. So somewhere at minus 3 dB, whatever frequency is there should be the cutoff frequency. How to measure it accurately? Right click on this and in the attached cursor take it as first and click on OK. Now we are going to drag it and bring it as much close as you can to minus 3 dB. At the bottom you can see that at minus 3 dB, this is almost minus 3 dB. We are getting the frequency as 79.65. Let's come back to our image. At minus 3 dB, we should observe the cutoff frequency as 79.16 Hz. And we are observing it as 79.65, which is what we should observe mathematically. And we are getting the same results by doing the simulations for a high pass filter. So, we can come to the conclusion that a high pass filter is a circuit in which the capacitor is in series with the input voltage and resistor parallel to it. And when the output voltage is measured across this resistor, it will be minus 3 dB and the corresponding frequency to minus 3 dB is the cutoff frequency. So this is how we will simulate a high pass filter in LTSpice. Please let me know your queries in the comment section below.